Hey guys, Armand Gun here. Today, oh man, I've been waiting to do this video for so long. I finally have my Heckler & Coke G28 and I couldn't be more excited. This gun is gorgeous. Ah, I've wanted one for so long and uh, it's finally here and I had to come out as soon as I got my registration certificate and do a range video with it. So if you want to know more about this gun, check out the video I posted yesterday, the full overview of it. I've also got a uh, a uh, disassembly video that I did a couple days before that. So again, if you want to know more, check those out. This video today is purely for ergonomics and shooting experience. These are literally the first rounds I'm gonna fire with as a gun. I have not fired this at all. I literally got the gun, threw a little bit of lube in it, just some good old G96, and hit the range. So I've got a, uh, Five rounds of 7.62 by 51, and this is not a very friendly gun for 308. My friend has one of these as well, and he instructed me that uh, 308, it's a fluted chamber, and they don't extract well. So, we've got 7.62 by 51 in here today, and we're gonna take a few shots. So, let's, uh, without further ado, I do have a TA tactical target up front, and we're gonna take a few shots at it. I have again, no idea how this is sighted in, I'm currently going to be looking through this little aim point T1 up top here. Schmidt and Bender below, but again, that's uh, we're shooting at a steel target about 10, 15 yards away, so I don't, uh, I don't think I need magnified optics for this. All right, guys, first shot. Oh, she is gorgeous. That was awesome. Perfect function right out of the box. Oh man, this thing is something else. I love this. Okay, so now, before I get to my second mag, we're just gonna talk about this thing a little bit. And uh, round log, what does that mean? Well, if you knew much this cost, you might drop one. But uh, no, I think that actually is, is telling uh, soldiers to to document their, their shooting with these guns. I think that's more or less what that's for. Piece of tape I also put on here. That was my only other modification to the gun. That simply so my brass doesn't chew up the ejection port, though it looks like it's hitting right there anyways. Oh well, whatever. It's meant to happen, I suppose. And uh, I'm just gonna tell you. So this was a special edition Schmidt & Bender. This is a three to 20 PM2. This was made for HK, which is pretty cool. It's a uh, nice, fully adjustable optic. Got magnification as well. It's in a fancy Aero, Aerotech, um, Aerotech mount there. And then it's got the aim point again on top with the fancy little sunshades. This thing is also outfitted with Tenerex Tactical Tough covers, as well as an ARD up here, a kill flash. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Oh, sorry, the one of the modification I made was I threw a war comp on here, a Surefire war comp. The reason I did that was so I could do this. This is, I'm in Canada, this is a fake suppressor. This is just a trainer, but this does allow me to pop this guy on. Uh, where are we here? Ah, uh, just for, for looks. I don't have that on quite right, but just for looks and for emulating the experience of yeah, I would be like to uh, hold the real deal with the real suppressor on it. Ah, and again, it's just for just for looks, and it would basically have it function as a blast deflector. Essentially, is the only benefit that would have. So, I'm not going to worry about that today. I just wanted to bring it out for show. And uh, set that down. All right. So, it comes out of the box also with some grip covers, HK marked, very nice. This is a legit G28 model. So it does have an adjustable gas press, a gas system. N for normal, S for suppressed. And it's got this cool little folding front sight up at the front here integrated with the long rail. Again, this gun is pretty heavy. I believe it's 11 pounds bare with nothing on it. Though I will confirm, oh, that, that I have that detail all in my overview video. This is a solid steel receiver though, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah. What else can I tell you? Probably not much. Let's just uh, shoot some more. It does not have ambi controls other than the uh, safety selector. The mag release right there and paddle release over here. So 
not a lot of ambidextry built into this gun here. The new A5, or sorry, MR308 A3s are fully ambidextrous guns. I have one of those on order. It's been on order for a couple years now. Hope they'll get it, but I know HK isn't too focused on civilian contracts at the moment. They're trying to pay the bills the best they can with military stuff. So let's drop this, drop this bolt, take another five shots at that target. No, my red dot isn't quite, quite in enough to hit that swinger, but uh, oh man. One more mag, guys. One more mag. The uh, broomstick handle there, HK Mark, and the stock. The stock is really cool. Check this out. Check the cheek piece out. When I move the stock back and forth, the cheek piece stays in place. I thought that was pretty cool. And I have to say as well, this action is so buttery smooth. It's like BNT Swiss smooth, like my APC 223. Oh, what a gorgeous. Gorgeous action, I was really impressed with it. Anyways, last five rounds. Thank you guys for tuning in today for the Armageddon G28 experience. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous and functioning perfectly right out of the box. I love it. So I will uh, just drop my mag here so I can just quickly go through and show you how smooth this action is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Just, it's butter. I can best describe it as butter. So, so nice. That's it for today, guys. Thanks so much. I will catch you guys next time. Please also check out my Instagram at arm.and.gun. And of course, I would definitely appreciate your subscription. I'm trying to grow this channel a little bit, get more content out there. But again, that's it for today. Catch you next time.